I, uh, I, sorry, can I, can I speak? Is yes, right? cool. please. Um, no, I mean, um, I, I appreciate that, and I've looked at the data myself. I mean, the data I, t I believe you're talking about is the yellow card reporting scheme, which are, which are well, self-reported. More than just the yellow card. Fair enough, okay. Obviously but looking at it on a global basis. Uh, well, okay, fine. But um, most of the data in the UK, for example, comes from the yellow card reporting scheme, which is a self-reporting scheme. There was a select committee in 1999 which estimated that there was an under-reporting factor. So roughly only about 10 to 15 percent of cases get, uh, uh, you know, referenced. And with the AstraZeneca vaccine, it's not simply, um, you know, uh, uh, inflammation. Um, What's interesting here, listening to you, is, is you've got uh, Robin here, who's a, a world-renowned mm -hmm. expert, yes. developing vaccines, researching vaccines for HIV mm -hmm. and Ebola. He's giving you information, he's giving you... You're going through your notes, finding all sorts of other things. Mm -hmm. Is nothing he says credible to you? Well... Given how... Okay. What an eminent scientist he is. No, sure, sure, sure. No, of course it is. Um, I studied philosophy at university and I learned that an appeal to an authority is not an okay. automatic win of an argument. And if we want to appeal to authority, for example, we could talk about someone, say, Robert, Dr Robert Malone, who is the man who invented the vaccine, who suggests that people, okay. young people, for example... No, he's... Hang on, he's he, I don't think he is the man who invented the vaccine. He was, well, he was critical inventing that. mRNA vaccines. Let's let Robin answer okay. that, and then I'll come uh, to that, some other people in the audience. That, that has... It's nonsense. He didn't invent okay. mRNA. You wanted to come back in. Do you mentioned um, natural immunity, right? And, you know, the way... The approach of the government is that there's only one way to solve this, which is vaccines. Why are we not doing more? Like, for example, I've tried to get an antibody test to see, you know, if I've got any natural immunities and stuff like that. Why are we not pushing that if people and are, you, are... Given what Rob has just said about natural immunity, has that not made any difference to your thinking? No, because I think... I don't know, I just feel like... I think it's not the same for every person, and I think that you should try and just explore that for, for people who... Um, we just choose not to, and maybe right. that might be a solution to your NHS crisis. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just, I'm only because I'm going to move on. Yeah. Robin, final word. I mean, I think that the issue is natural immunity is very variable. You can't, on a mass population basis, go around and measure everybody's antibody levels. And if I measured your antibodies levels today, and I could say that it was below a protective th threshold, would that persuade you to go and get vaccinated? You could. And, 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 and it and could, and that's the, probably the why I issue. wanted to do it. Right. But it's so difficult to get it. Like, what's the whole? Why are we? Why are we spending so much on the vaccines, and we're not allowing some people like me who wants to just see? You know, so it could actually. Okay, let, let him answer. So the the important thing right now is we don't know, we don't have a precise unit of if you have an antibody level at this level, you are protected for this number of months. So the day that you get your antibodies measured will give you some idea of your immune response, but it won't tell you how long that lasts. If you get a vaccine, which I can tell you all the evidence shows is completely safe, your risk from the vaccine, the risk from the vaccine um, is so low to you and the benefits are so high that it would boost your immune response and give you the security that those vulnerable members of your family who you've persuaded to get vaccines for very real reasons, you are not going to be passing on that, the virus to them. You're going to be better able to protect